You know, talk to me a little bit about, you look at the growth of karate combat, it's evolved from, the sport of karate evolving from kind of like a point fighting style to a more kind of fan friendly style with the with the pit and what they've been able to kind of do in revolutionizing the sport. What are your thoughts on karate combat right now and just the growth that it's had? Man, it's growing like crazy. They got a, they got a good team behind them, I think, to help with the social media aspect of it. And nowadays, it, 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 that's, that plays a huge part and growing your company, your business is social media. <clears throat> so you got a good team behind Cardi Combat to help catapult. And they're smart about when they hold their shows. For a while there, I saw anytime there was a UFC event, the Cardi Combat was like the day before in the same area. So they're pulling from that UFC crowd, I, I do believe. And I don't know if that was their game plan, but I was just kind of putting two to two together. And you had a lot of UFC fighters showing up. And now you have a lot of retired UFC guys who are going to karate combat, big, bigger names to help catapult them to that level. And the excitement is just amazing, right? You don't have the guys to go out there and just wrestle you. And people don't want to see that. Fans want to see striking. They want to see knockouts. For instance, the the, the James Vick knockout that you saw, the switch kick. <clears throat> it's cool of knockouts like that. And pe that's what people want to see. You know, they want to see those crazy knockouts, not just two people just laying on each other out there, you know? So, and then I think that, that kind of pulls from the, just the regular Joe Blow who doesn't really know about the ground game. They just see people out there kicking and punching. Oh my God, this is exciting. So it, it, they're, and they're not just doing the striking as well. They do. Um, they pull big names for grappling matches as well. But you know what you're getting into, right? You know that, all right, we got a grappling match. I'm going to see this. And then the rest of the show is going to be nothing but knockout. So it kind of pulls from both groups there. And it's an avenue, not just for karate guys, but retire, you know, MMA fighters who don't want to do MMA anymore. They want to go more of the striking route and the grappler. So it's growing tremendously and having all those three together. It's just, it's just, it's just amazing. Very smart idea for sure. Absolutely. I love the inclusion of the of, of the pit and just overall the concept behind them. What they've been able to do with the marketing has been unreal. And my God, that that James Vick knockout that happened the past week, probably one of the most devastating knockouts I think yeah. I've ever seen, period. Yeah, man, I, I felt so bad for James Vick because, you know, and when he was in the UFC, he was put through some brutal knockouts as yeah. well. So I hope he takes some time off and just to heal, heal up because, uh, man, you could tell his opponent didn't realize the you know the damage that he caused just because yeah, i know he felt really bad about what happened but as part of the game man and that's what makes cardi combat so exciting i think is because of you got you got knockouts like that they allow ground and pound which is more like a street situation right because 99.9 of the time in a street situation you're going to end up on the ground so they do allow like i think it's seven seconds maybe of ground and pound so i think that's super exciting as well a lot of guys are doing you know kicks off the off the pit wall they're throwing submissions up in the grappling matches off the pit flying triangles so it's just it's just super exciting to watch